England and the Fellowship of Reconciliation is referred to as FOR and may be the oldest worldwide interfaith peace organization. The formation of FOR was in response to the war in Europe where millions of people were killed and meant to be a non-violent response to the arms race. Henry Hodgkin was an English Quaker and Friedrich Siegmund Schultz the German Kaiser's former chaplain. These men were responsible for the organization of a conference in December of 1914. Cambridge was chosen as the location and 130 Christians were in attendance. This was when a visionary statement was drafted and became known as the basis of the fellowship. Meetings in the United Kingdom included 55 local branches consisting of more than 1,500 members by November of 1915. Siegmund Schultz faced a military tribunal for his actions and was sentenced to death. The Kaiser wrote a letter supporting his views and he was offered a place in the German Ministry of Information but refused the post. Henry Hodgkin became Pendle Hill's first director in the United States. The original meeting is now 100 years in the past but was responsible for an international fellowship. FOR has been a diverse and rich movement for more than a century and has numerous inspiring members. The visionary statement basically states Jesus is Christ's life and death are about love and this is the only power capable of defeating evil. This is the basis for society. A world order can be established with love as the basis but there is the risk this society will not be accepted by the world. Christians are forbidden to begin a war and must remain loyal to their humanity, church, country and Jesus Christ. The love, wisdom and power of God extends far beyond the present experience. God is always waiting to enter human life in larger and new ways. The manifestation of God is seen in men and women throughout the world. He will reveal his redemptive purpose. These are the basic principles FOR members live by. Since the International Fellowship of Reconciliation's inception, the members have worked to establish non-violent actions for a peaceful world. In 1914, they joined with trade unions, and faith groups in the preparation of a joint paper. This was during World War I and was the beginning of a new vision for Europe. This later became the European Union. The Le Chambon sur Lignon villagers assisted in the rescue of political refugees and Jews trying to escape Nazism and saved thousands of lives. During the Montgomery bus boycott, they joined forces with Martin Luther King and held nonviolence workshops in the United States southern region. The International Fellowship of Reconciliation also helped War Resistance International to ensure most European countries recognized conscientious objection as a legal right. The FOR members are partially responsible for the recognition of conscientious objection since the Great War and it is currently a civil right in Britain. During the 1970s they used campaigns, educational projects, marches and civil disobedience in an attempt to reverse the Cold War. They tried to establish an ecological imperative through a conference in Stockholm in the 1970s. During the 1980s they helped put an end to the Marcos dictatorship taking place in the Philippines through training. They were responsible for the joint campaign that ended the Defense Export Services Organization in the United Kingdom. FOR has six members who are current or previous laureates for the Nobel Peace Prize. These are Adolfo Beres Esquivel in 1980, Mairead Corrigan Maguire in 1976, Dr. Martin Luther King in 1964, Chief Albert Latouli in 1960, Emily Green Balch in 1946 and Jane Adams in 1931.